Hi there, today we're gonna to do a quick demo on how to remove end-to-end -end encryption in Messenger to remove a device in Facebook. Stay tuned to the end to get one last tip if all else fails. So the first thing that you wanna do, you wanna go ahead and log into your phone. You cannot do this on the desktop, it has to be on the phone. You're gonna go ahead and go to your Messenger. And inside Messenger, you're gonna click the three lines on the left-hand side, they call this the hamburger menu. Then we wanna go ahead and click the settings icon or cog in the right-hand corner here. Then we're gonna go ahead and scroll down until we find privacy and safety. Here inside of privacy and safety, we wanna to go to end encrypted chats, click on that. We're gonna click on the option that says message storage. And inside of message storage, we're gonna go ahead and click all the way at the bottom where it says turn off secure storage. Are you sure you wanna turn off secure storage? Any new end-to-end -end encrypted messages won't be backed up remotely. Continue. So that's gonna go ahead and log us off and take that away for this device. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the back button on the left, and then we're gonna to go to the option that says security alerts. On the security alerts, it's gonna show where you are logged in. We are gonna go ahead and click view all logins and it's gonna have your logins right here. So it says this login. So on this device, this is us right here. So we can click on this login. We can scroll down and then click the option that says log out. Log out of Facebook on the phone or device that you're on, log out. Now you're able to go ahead and log out of all the devices that you have on those specific devices. Once you do that, that will give you the ability to have the end-to-end -end encryption taken away for that device. All right, so this is all set up for the future from here on out. But if you actually get into a conversation and it still has the end-to-end -end encryption on it, the only way that you can get rid of it and then start over a new one is to be able to go back and then what you do is you go ahead and long press on the conversation and then you go delete. It will delete the conversation and when you start the new conversation, it will no longer have the end-to-end -end encryption on it. Now, one thing you have to be wary about is if it, you delete the conversation, it's gonna delete all the previous stuff. So if you need to back up that conversation so that you have it for your records for the future, we do have an app that we are able to use to be able to back this up. So before you delete that conversation, you can actually go into the specific conversation, whatever conversation that you wanna save, and we can look at it inside of Messenger here. So right here, we can click on any conversation that we have. We can go ahead and get this conversation ID in the top where it has the number. We can copy that. And then we have an app here where we're able to go ahead and get inside the app. We go home and then we click download message and we are able to go ahead and download the whole entire message for that conversation. So if we have a long conversation history with them and we want to keep that data, whether it's in PDF form, HTML form, or we want to print it out, we have the ability to do that. So we can go ahead and say when we want it from. So you could say however long your conversation is, and then you could say up until today, and then you click download. And this is gonna go ahead and take all of the information that you have, and it will go ahead and retrieve up to 5,000 messages on that download, which is pretty awesome. Now, if you have 10,000 uh, messages, then you could do the first 5,000 and then go back and do the next 5,000 and have two separate downloads. But this will go ahead and give you the ability to go ahead and have all of that information in there so that you can save it and see what is being said. So we can either download it as HTML or we can download as a PDF and when we do that we'll see here we can either print it or we can save it as a PDF and we'll have all of that for future reference so that it is there for us and we don't lose it and then we can also get rid of the end-to-end -end encryption. If you want to go ahead and take advantage of this app, we actually have 10 productivity apps that we have in our Accountability Action Taker Squad. You can go ahead and click that link below. We also have all of our training courses on publishing, affiliate marketing, and YouTube ranking, as well as doing weekly lives on publishing, affiliate marketing, and YouTube ranking on Zoom. So we have weekly lives. You get the 10 extensions that usually cost about 400 a month. You get all of our courses 
and you also get those live trainings and Q and A's if you ever have more in-depth questions. Now, if you've done all the stuff that we told you and you come over here to Messenger inside of Facebook and you go to the bottom where it says see all in Messenger and you're not seeing all of your messages here. So we click see on Messenger. And if you notice here at the top, it actually says Facebook forward slash messages and that I actually don't have my last message that I have sent. So if you actually go over messenger.com and log in, you'll actually see all of your new messages. So if you see here in Messenger, we don't see all the new messages. And when we go into messenger.com, we will. And you're still able to use all of your extensions and all of your updates and stuff inside of messenger.com. And you'll still see all of the live messages from Facebook. But that is the last step. If the other ones are not working for you, definitely run over to messenger.com and you'll be able to see what you are missing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.